Did you know that consumers overspend by $7,400 a year? The truth is, with technology rapidly advancing and brand names popping up everywhere, it's hard to save your money when everyone has the latest gear. And despite most purchases being unnecessary, many people still go through with those purchases even when they know they don't have the money. What is going on everyone? My name is Cameron and welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing some of the 10 best money tips for 2023 that I've put together for you guys. Now, two of these tips were recently mentioned in Iman Godzi's new video, and I found them to be very true, which is why I've included them in today's list, alongside eight other tips that I think would benefit you guys. So without further ado, let's get straight to it with the first tip being wait before you buy. This is quite an interesting one because a majority of purchases, if not all purchases, are impulse buys, meaning you buy the thing or the item that you want almost immediately with little to no thought. The problem with that is that impulse purchases are barely thought through. Now, most of you sitting here would probably agree that before making any important decision or taking any important actions, you obviously think through it first and then you proceed to take the action or whatever it may be. But looking at it now, why don't we do the same thing when it comes to spending money? It's because we feel that we need what it is right then and there that we're interested in purchasing. The solution to all of this? Wait before you buy. Sleep on it, let a day or two go by, and chances are, after some time, you'll realize that what you thought you needed, you actually don't need anymore. Which leads me to the second tip being practice minimalism. This is something that I personally have studied on for a little while now. And after finding out about it, I've realized how much money you can truly save by embracing minimalism. And no, that doesn't mean sell your bed, sleep on the floor, and get rid of your couch because four blankets can do the same thing. No, it's all about less is more, which is essentially what minimalism really is. And at first, most people who aren't familiar with minimalism picture an empty room with nothing but a chair in it, which seems boring to them, when in reality, it's probably one of the best ways for most people to live their life once they truly understand what minimalism really is, and once you learn the proper way of approaching this type of lifestyle. This is something that I'll make a separate video on and go more in depth into on how to approach the minimalist lifestyle, but essentially to sum it up, Minimalism will save you thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars in the long term, since you won't be cluttering your house with little knickknacks and will truly understand how to embrace what you already have. Moving on to the third tip, which many people currently struggle with, is stop drinking alcohol. If you're someone who's not financially free and independent and you still work a nine to five, please do yourself a favor and stop drinking alcohol. There is nothing beneficial about this liquid confidence that many people enjoy. And as a Muslim, my views are very different than most non-religious people. But all I can say is that stay away from alcohol because the short-term and long-term effects are extremely detrimental to your mind and body. It is one of the biggest money wasters of all time, since a night out at the club or the bar will probably run you from 20 to 50 to even $100. Now imagine you go out or even stay in drinking two to three nights a week. Might not be everyone, but believe me, if you're spending hundreds of dollars a week on alcohol, take a break or even better, quit drinking alcohol. Tip number four, stop eating out every single week. Eating out is personally one of my biggest money wasters and many people watching this as well. I won't go over this tip too much, but it's pretty obvious how much money we truly spend on food. Even an $8 meal two to three times a week adds up. Let alone if you're going to restaurants every other week, you're probably spending a good hundred bucks or so. Not only are you wasting money, but you're consuming the exact same foods that you could probably make at home for one fourth of the price. Tip number five, stay away from harmful activities. This tip actually ties in with the one on alcohol, but to further expand, staying away from harmful activities will save you a ton of money. Engaging in activities such as gambling, habitual spending, smoking weed, drinking alcohol, smoking cigarettes, drug use, consuming high amounts of sugar, the list goes on. These habits will truly destroy your wallet. And the unfortunate thing is that activities like these are often addicting. So if you're doing them, you're probably doing them on a weekly, if not a daily basis. Staying away from activities that fall into this category will save you a boatload of money. Tip number six, stop buying brand name items. The amount of money that is spent on designer clothes and brand named items is ridiculous. For someone who's financially free and independent, the story is different. But to the average person who works a nine to five and barely has any money, stay away from this habit. It's okay to buy a new watch or a particular item that you've been wanting for a while, but to go all out and buy only brand named items without even owning or leasing a car yet is one of the stupidest things you can do. Remember, treating yourself is one thing, but to go and buy items that make you look cool or make you feel cool, that's another. The seventh tip that we'll be going over is learn a high income skill. You've probably heard it a million times, but it's so important that I had to include it in this video. 
Learning a high income skill is one of the best things you can do for yourself. Whether it be day trading, content creation, copywriting, web development, whatever it may be that you're passionate about, learn to master it. Becoming proficient in a particular field will have a 99% chance of you making money in the short or even long term. Not only will this help you save money, but it will also make you money, depending of course on how quickly you pick up on it. Tip number eight, invest your money. Basic, but very important to saving and growing your money. The last thing you wanna do is live paycheck to paycheck without investing 10 to 20 to even 30% of your monthly income. Whether it's stocks, ETFs, real estate, investing your money somewhere is always better than letting it pile up in your bank account. And the younger you start, the better. So start investing today. Tip number nine, eliminate unnecessary subscriptions. Monthly subscriptions are super tempting especially when a company is willing to charge you 10, 15, or $20 a month for a product or service. And yes, it's hard to stay away from those type of offers because they seem cheap. Now let's say you're subscribed to three services, each costing you $15 a month. That's $540 a year in just subscription costs. So consider eliminating unnecessary subscriptions since they will save you a lot of money. And lastly, the final tip of this video, be grateful for what you have. We tend to forget what we already have and focus on what we don't have. And the main thing that we have to realize is that you and I both already have a lot. The things that we don't necessarily appreciate are the things that many people would dream of. Which is why being grateful is always the best thing you can do. Be content, remain humble and work smart. And whatever your goal may be, with great work and determination, you'll surely get there. On that note, my name is Cameron. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.